Hi everyone. Today I would like to um talk about how to use Gribble to create a movable city. Um, so this is a very awesome. 3D Max plugin that can help you create a city or a buildings in a very easy way. So first, this is the inter uh, this is the wipe set of this um, plugin. You can download it here, and you can choose the version you want. Like um, it depends on uh, what 3D Max version you have. So you can just click it and download it and then um let's open our 3d max so my 3d max is 2007 i just download a popping of 2000 version and then we need to install it um so first we need to open customize plugin manager and these are the list of um plugins and you right click on anywhere and there is a lot new plugin so you click it and find the, pl uh, the plugin you download it open it and all these are done so now we want to try the how it works so we want to create the pen here with segments like pen and then um, we go to the modify list and then we you um, so here you can find Gribble it has already been installed in 3D Mac alright and this is the, the buildings so here you can change the values of um, the height of the building so minimum height maximum height and also you can change um, because the, there are some something on the top of the building you can also change change the size of them the height and density or yeah and if you don't want them just uh, turn turn off the the icon alright so now we're going to talk about how to build a future city and um, of course everyone has a different Im Im image about the future cities and now I just um, use this one it's not fun to create a, a, a building um, build on a band, band and code so I would like to use holes this time this and then um, we can choose the helpers which is here and create a point helper here also create another helper maybe here so yeah and then um, we like this again, the whole thing again. Go to the modif modified panel. Um, and select down to object pivot. And then pick top object, which is this point. And then pick bottom object. So select this point helper. So now it would be like this and when you are moving the when moving the helper it will be or uh, it will be moved as as it so um now also uh, we can change the the intents of it so now we're going oh, yeah we're going to create buildings here um, so we find we, uh, firstly I want to add a, a, add a poly here and to um, use polygon also you can select polygon here that thing 
um, and I want to select all of the polygons on the host, and then insert. Um, so you click here, we, we change it to insert by polygon, and we change the value so it would be like this. Um, and if, or if you just want to create a frame of it, you can add slate mesh. Um, so that would be a a frame of the host, but um, here um, we don't want so we hide it. And now uh, we select the, the middle part of, of every part now. and and then we want to use grid wall. So the buildings are built here, and there will also be streets in the, uh, between the buildings. Yeah. Um, and then um, we can use um, we can change the height. So here we see okay. Um, so uh, here we can but another one which is up to the side and you can also change yeah you can change its shape okay mm, so this is another and then uh we use the same way to do passes on it and the color and black um black polygons or or polygons and then use inset type polygon black is alright um and then use the label okay so here is another um building with that and you see um again so we can change standards like moving to the yeah so that's it for today um thank you so much for watching this video see you